So I wanted to do a quick update on what I'm working on and what I want to finish. So um, this is my Sunday's Best uh, SBL Girl. Um, and I know I said in my previous videos that I would never customize my stock Blythals. Now this little lady, I had to customize. She, when I purchased her, she had a melted spot right over her eyebrow. You could follow it. I don't know if you can see it, but I sanded it. I sanded the the whole faceplate and made sure it was a you know it wasn't very noticeable. You can't really tell anymore. But um, yeah, I couldn't save her her makeup, so I just decided to you know take everything off and just redo her. So this is what she looks like right now, and let me tell you all. <laughs> The SBL dolls are the hardest stock Blythe dolls that you can customize. Why? Because it is so hard to take them apart. So hard to take them apart. Um, so she has three pieces. So she has the scalp, the her dome, the hard dome on the inside, and the back plate, and you know her face plate here. Uh, I could not remove um i could i couldn't move the top of her head it was just the it's crazy how much glue they put in there crazy and i you know i did some research i tried to find some um videos of them being customized and what i read online was that some people have to saw their heads open just so that they can get in the into the face plate how crazy and I soaked her head for weeks in hot water I would change her you know change the water every day made sure it was warm nothing it didn't just her eyelashes fell out and that was about it <laughs> that was about it so I, I just couldn't I, I did was I grabbed those big needles the doll needles I think they're called um, those huge ones so what I did was um once I soaked her head I would go in between you know, where the scalp is and the face plate, the line there, and I would just try to scrape as much glue as I could. And then once it was open, once it was, uh, it, you could see, you know, there was a little gap there, I just started to pull it, just pull the face plate. And I just, it was so hard. It was so, so, so hard. Uh, but finally, I was able to pull the, the face plate off but I could not get this off, so I was like, I'm not worried about that. I could just sand it down, and I did sand the back, so it matches the faceplate. Um, and, I mean, I wasn't going to do anything with the hair or anything. I just wanted to, I just wanted to take her apart and just, you know, fix, put her back together, but I just could not. <laughs> the only thing I was able to get was the faceplate, which is fine, and there's no cracks on it, no scratches. Um, yeah, so... This is, so putting it back together. Now there, when I was pulling the face plate off, there was so much glue that some of the, the dome part that goes in here, in this little group here, it broke off. And um, yeah, it just broke off. I, there's nothing I could do to save it. And still, even then I soaked the face plate thinking, oh, maybe, you know, I can, take it out, remove it, and try to glue it back on the scalp, on the dome I mean, and no, I couldn't, I could not get that darn thing out. So I just left it, I just left it there. Uh, as you can see over here, too. sorry guys. I don't know if you can see that, you see? So that's where it broke off, that piece right there. There's another part right there. Um, so yeah, but I was able to fix her up and now I just have to put her back together and I have her body and everything and she just looks so cute. So this is her with her, with her, um, hair. So yeah, that's my little SBL Sunday's best. And what else, what else have I been doing? I haven't had much time to play with my dolls. Right now, my twins are napping. They turned two recently. Uh, so they're napping. And this is the only time I can... 
I did laundry, uh, so I'm done doing um, housework. So, yeah. Uh, so I haven't had much time to play with my girls or make stuff for them. Um, so here's Lacey. I feel so bad. I just, she's one of my favorite <laughs> dolls because I made her. Um, but I just haven't had time to, you know, do things, take pictures of her or I don't know. But yeah, there she is. And what else? Um, so my little icy doll, which is a clone of a Blythe doll. They don't call them Blythe. Um, uh, Blythe dolls, they're known as icy dolls. Um, and, but they work the same as a Blythe doll. You know, they have four different eye chips. They have the pull rings. Um, so this is, uh, my icy doll that I customized. Uh, it was intended to be a girl, but then... <laughs> Once I chopped off all its hair, her hair off, it just, I thought, okay, you were meant to be a boy. So I purchased a wig and, it, and then I switched his body because he was with um, tube body. I was using the old tube body and it was just too thin, too thin for its body, for his head. Um, and not only that, but the weight of the head body. You could push it together but it just opens it up and it's too, no, I don't think, I don't think these, um, forget what size this is, 23 centimeters I think. Uh, they do not work with uh, Blythe dolls. There, it's just too thin and the neck, I, I, it's not very good support for the neck. But um, yeah, so here is my little guy. I think I made him too red. I might fix it. I might redo his um, his face up. Now I just put the body on him. Um, and his um, wig is not glued on yet. But I just, I just received the bodies today. So this is an extra small boy body. And it is cute. Cute, cute, cute. So... Let me show you the body. So this is what the body looks like for a boy. So this is a pure Nemo. Uh, and this one is in the white skin color. It's extra small. And I have Lacey here. She is on a small pure Nemo body. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Well, actually, he's on a body, on a pure Nemo, extra small body. So let me show you the difference. His head's going to be all wobbly. I didn't put the rubber band in. So he's a little bit shorter, as you can see. But I just love these bodies, yay! So, here's the body. And not only that, uh, since my I want my Blythe dolls to look like little girls, I... Uh, Alright, so this one is in, in white. And here is the boy. And this is the girl body. So the girl body, you can, as you can see, has a thinner waistline as the boy has. His is more wider. Um, and of course, she's not completely flat chested. The boy is completely flat chested. And what else? And there's more of a gap in between the girl's legs, if you can see that. No, their legs are closed and she's got more of a gap than he does. But these bodies, I think they will definitely work for, for my girls. Now, oh, how? This is so adorable. Okay, so here's my, now I can't just put her face plate in because of the broken pieces. So 
let me just show you what it would look like if she had this body. So it's so cute. Yes. Yep, so that's what I've been working on so far, and I've also purchased a few more dolls. <laughs> um, but they're not Blythe dolls. They are pull-up dolls. <laughs> so this is a uh, Puresa. Is that, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but uh, she's a pull-up doll. And I purchased her... Um, I purchased her from a seller that was moving and I didn't want to pack some dolls up and I asked her if she had any other dolls because she got an excellent price. Um, she came with everything, her complete stock outfit, everything, her box, everything. So um, sure enough, she did have two other dolls and purchased the Buell doll and they are so cute. They have the cutest little face. It's like a little pout. And then I also purchased this other one that I plan on customizing. Let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, so she is all in two pieces. She's missing her arm. Well, I, I actually pulled her arm out um, just, to, just to check out her body. Um, because I do have uh, an obitu body. So I'll see if I can swap the bodies out, the, I mean the arms out, um, I just have to find <laughs> the body, but yeah, so this is, I believe this is a quail, and she also came with her complete outfit, um, of course you can see her arms, her hands are damaged, um, her scalp was removed, but I have her, her wig, yeah, so I plan on customizing this girl, but she has a pretty face up that I don't know if I want to customize it. But there's a few scratches on her face, so I might I might just have to, yeah. I think I might just repaint it. But she has a pretty face up compared to Puresa. I prefer her face up. But I will, yeah, and I am going to make some eye chips for them as well. I don't like the, the eye chips that they have right now. Yeah. Yep, so that's what I've, I, I have and what I'm working on. So, alright, talk to you later. Bye.